Bisso. I know. What's well, going on? Bro. Yeah. in the building. You know what I mean? He's had a hard day today. So putting in. Still been here from like the last four hours doing a bunch of interviews and stuff. But that's our goal still. If we want to do this thing, you got to go hard. And it's one of them ones. Period, period. So yeah, man. I mean, we caught up with you right now. Roads are eager to kind of know what's happening with the whole jammer thing and you know how that started, escalated, and where it's going right, to. Let me break it down with that bacon drip situation. Yeah, listen, basically, me and him, yeah, we go back years, innit? We're from the same bits, innit? Yeah, I managed to do all right and move out. He still lives there. So basically, boom. Thing about me that a lot of people should know when I'm on the microphone, okay, I keep it as real as possible, innit? I talk about situation I'm going through in it. I'm never I'm never afraid to express things that happen to me and whatnot. So the stage I'm at now in it like I'm on album free, you know, like I've been I've been I've been lucky to, to make a living of what I do. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I'm talking about now where I'm at. I've always done that. So boom. So basically I've gone on Westwood now and I'm doing my thing. And there's a lyric I say about um someone being a waste man still living with their mum or something. So he's gone on and said, ah, oh, Bizzle's talking about me. So I thought, rah, so what, you're a waste man then and you live with your mum? All right, cool. No problem. Then men's talking about some next stuff that's got nothing to do with music, talking about when a couple of my old friends were rolling with me and then became problems and then whatever, came to my yard with Leng and whatever, whatever happened, didn't it? Like, this was around power time, like five, six years ago. So I'm like, what's wrong with this guy, bruv? Like, well, what's, what, what's this guy's problem? Anyway, boom. So I've done my little thing on that little interview thing now. I said, well, if you want to talk about personal stuff, innit? Like, boom, man, will talk about Ozzy B. Like, Ozzy B banged his baby mum, innit? Like, so from then on, like, obviously, if man beat your baby mum, man's always going to have a little, a little sound for you, regardless, innit? So anyway, bam. So my man now, got on camera again, talking a bag of pop about, yeah, suck your mum, suck your mum, suck your mum, da, 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 da. Personally fam, I ain't got a problem with this roster. Like, I'm on a making money thing, I'm on making music, innit? I'm on this positive thing. Like, like I can understand when someone's not really doing so well for themselves and like, you know, certain things I may be saying are hurting them because obviously that's where they wanna be and they wanna be able to talk about buying things and living life, innit? So I understand, innit? Because personally I ain't got a problem with my man, innit? If anything, man's got a problem with me. So boom! So when he's gone on camera now and started talking about suck your mum's mum, suck your mum's mum, 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 mum. I said, oh, you know what, I have to make an example of this boy. So that's when I went into the studio one time. I wasn't even on doing nothing for him. And then I just got an idea about this bacon dread thing. Went on the net, downloaded Merkel, man. Bruv, one take, it wasn't even, a, it wasn't even no, no, no effort thing. I went in there, I said, you know, I was going to make an example of this guy in it. Went in there, done the bacon dread thing, bam. Next minute now, man are phoning me like, oh, blood, you've killed this Jabba guy. The baby mom situation, the baby mom like, got, got a word to me, basically, she was, bit, she was a bit disappointed that I exposed the situation and that, but I'm like, well, you know what? Blame your baby father, ain't Because in the day, if it was a music team, she'd have kept it music, innit? No one, start, no one told me to start talking about when my old friends come to my yard of straps and whatever on the roads and get me for some music and talk about music in it so anyway cut a long story short a few weeks after that Jabba phoned me and I respect him for this he phoned me and he squashed it he said you know what cuz why don't you just get money together like allow all this thing like we're the kings of the UK let's get money together in it so boom from then on I said yeah you know what cool like you don't know it's cool. After I done the bacon dread thing, I weren't really gonna say anything else anyway, because I think that just said everything that had to be said anyway. So boom. So I left it as that. But he reached out to me and said, Yo biz, you know what, cuz he? Bam. Just allow it. Everything's cool. Like, let's just get money in it. I said, bro, that's always been the motive for me, to be fair. So there ain't nothing going on with me and my man. As far as I know, we're blessed, you know what I'm saying? And um and yeah. So making money thing, man. That was just a little hype for two minutes on the roadside. I'm on this making money thing, fam. You know what I mean? Trying to buy bigger houses, look after my team, look after my fam. You know what I mean? Make good music, tour, live life, man. Live like a rock star, man.
It's real talk, man. Real talk. That's coming exclusive from Bizzle. Exclusive. That's the reals. That's what's really good tonight. That's really what's going on right now on the roads. Ain't really now popping with me and Jammer. I ain't gonna call him Bacon Jim because we're cool now. Yeah. Yo, you done know? Make sure you subscribe, yeah, to the biggest YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash word on road, yeah? Make sure you check them out, yeah? If you don't know who Word on Road are, when you buy my album on October the 5th, you see the front cover, Word on Road done that. When you see the back cover, Word on Road done that. When you open it and you see the booklet, Word on Road done that, yeah? So hold out Word on Road. Biggest graphic designers, anything to do with graphics, TV, anything to do with your eyes looking at Word on Road, yeah? Make sure you check out the YouTube though, forward slash Word on Road, YouTube. The Bizzle Live Exclusive.